Hi everyone, this is Joy from u n i v e r s a l Today, let's talk about everything that you need to know about the famous key beauty ingredient called Sika. The first things first, what is Sika? Sika stands for Centella asiatica, which is a herb that grows primarily in Southeast Asia. And Sika is not just an ingredient that was recently discovered by a cosmetic company. It actually been used for medical and culinary purposes for hundreds of years. Sika is also called as tiger grass because tigers will roll into the plant to heal its wounds and help to regenerate its skin. And due to Sika's really good soothing and healing benefits, Sika has been a staple ingredient in K-beauty. And now let's go over the main benefits of Sika. So what does Sika actually do to our skin? So first main benefit of Sika is its soothing property. The Sika is formulated with a s i a t i c o c y t e which is a compound that helps to soothe the sensitive and dry skin that suffers from inflammation, or redness, or irritation. So if your skin is inflamed or suffering from some skin procedures um, like redness and itchiness, Sika cream or Sika skincare product will help to ease that itchiness. And second main benefit of Sika is healing. Sika also contains varicastocyte, which boosts antioxidant activity, including increasing blood circulation and building some skin barriers. So if you're suffering from breakouts, spots, or acne, Sika ingredient can be very helpful. Third main benefit of Sika is actually anti-aging. Because Sika is packed with antioxidants, it boosts collagen production and also helps to ease out all the fine wrinkles and age spots. The Sika is not only suitable for very sensitive and acne-prone skin, but also if you're looking for dewy, firm, hydrated, healthy-looking skin, Sika can be very, very helpful. So now we understand all the benefits of Sika, and you might be wondering how we can incorporate the Sika ingredient into our skincare routine. So the most common Sika skincare product is the cream. There's so many creams out there in the market. The Sika can be actually used in many other skincare steps, including toner, a m p u l e sheet mask, even exfoliator and sunscreen, as well as the Sika patches that will soothe out any breakouts. Now let's move on to more exciting part. So what ingredient can be mixed with Sika? So first ingredient that can be mixed with Sika is actually vitamin C. So together with Sika and vitamin C, uh, it will improve antioxidant, collagen producing, as well as wound healing effect. So you can mix vitamin C and Sika product together, or you can layer in a different skincare steps. So for me, I layer um, o x y n z o r i c o vitamin C serum or your favorite vitalizing ampule. And then uh, I would apply the Sika cream if I want to uh, mix vitamin C and Sika together. The second ingredient you can mix with Sika is niacinamide. Niacinamide is so well known for its brightening, anti-aging, and even pore tightening effect, and it's in fact one of my favorite ingredients. So if you want to boost brightening and anti-aging effect, then I would I would layer or mix Sika with niacinamide. So there are products like Patriolic Pure Energy Sika Plus Toner and Cream. That is already mixed with niacinamide and Sika, or you can layer uh, different products and skincare steps um, that contains each niacinamide and Sika. And the next ingredient you can mix with Sika is p a n t h e n o l which is a vitamin B5 that actually helps to moisturize skin even further. So if you're suffering from some dehydrated, dry skin. I would mix p a n t h e n o l with um, Sika. You can also look for a product that already contains p a n t h e n o l and um, Sika, which is the Sika Plus Pure Energy Sika Plus line, including toner, a m p u l e and cream, Rovectin SPF um, sunscreen, and T-Retin line, which contains Sika as well as the p a n t h e n o l And the last ingredient I recommend to mix with Sika is c h e m i c i t r u s o p t u s a l e a v e extract. So if your skin is extra inflamed and itchy, um, these two ingredients will help ease out the, all the itchiness and irritation. So you can layer some um, chemistry p e r s of to sell leave sheet mask for like 15 minutes, and then you can apply the s i c k e cream. Or there are also products that are mixed with the both ingredient, uh, which you can 
use to maximize some soothing and healing effect. Now you might be wondering, then what ingredient cannot be mixed with Zika? And the answer is, there's none. Zika is a plant-based, very gentle and mild ingredient that can be used with any other ingredients, including some active ingredients. For example, the ingredient like retinol, which has so many restrictions, also can be used with Zika. And in fact, the Zika will ease out all the dryness and flakiness after you use the retinol. And now I'm going to wrap this up by what to look out for when choosing a Zika product. So there are so many Zika products in the market. And my first advice when choosing a product is always look for Medicasucide in the ingredient list. Medicasucide is one of the compounds in Zika that is most responsible for anti-irritant and healing effects. And not all Zikas are the same. Zika can vary a lot based on which climate and what location it has grown in. So not all Zika contains the same amount of Medicasucide, so always look out for that ingredient. It's always nice to see that one in the list. The next thing I would recommend to look out when choosing a Zika product is the Zika concentration level. So not all Zika products are the same. It can be mainly just purified water and a little bit of Zika. So make sure you check what percentage this product contains Zika. So it could be as low as 10%, even 50%, 70, 80%. So higher concentration, you can enjoy more benefits of Zika. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find this helpful. If you like this video, of course, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. And please comment below if you have any questions or feedback and I'll be happy to take a look and answer any of your questions. Thank you and see you next time.